Welcome back to the channel, guys. I have fresh news, Tss, hot off the press, hot off the desk. Let's get into the information because that's why you're here, not just to see this beautiful face. Just kidding. Hong Kong regulator wants to beef up its staff covering virtual assets. Guys, everybody is preparing for DLT. Let's get into it. Hong Kong Securities and Futures Commission, the F, no, the SFC wants to expand the team handling virtual assets in the city. It seeks to become a crypto hub. Everybody wants to be a crypto hub. I wonder why. You think they can smell the money, the fresh printed money? If crypto had a smell, what would it smell like? Comment down below. Would it, would it smell like fresh hundreds or would it smell like gold bars? I, do gold bars smell? I don't know. Comment down below. In this budget report for 2023 and 2024, the Jurisdiction Legal Council, the regulator asked for four more posts to be added to headcount in response to more operators expressing interest in operating trading platforms and managing versatile assets funds. I can't speak English, but it's cool. We're going to keep on going. We don't let anything stop us. South Korea issues guidelines for regulating security tokens. All right, I like it. Let's get into it. South Korea's Financial Services Commission, the FSC, on Monday published guidelines on which blockchain-based iterations of traditional securities, known as security tokens, will qualify for regulation under the country's capital markets rule. The guidance comes ahead of highly anticipated regulations that will institutionalize security tokens. South Korea is working to regulate the crypto and blockchain sector comprehensively with lawmakers of the country's National Assembly considering 17 separate crypto-related legislative frameworks. They are getting ready all over the world, right? Hong Kong, South Korea, Singapore. Visa eyes high-end USD settlement payments on Ethereum, right? Payments giant Visa reportedly seeks to meet customer requests to convert digital assets into fiat payments, similar to how it converts in foreign currencies. We've been testing how actually act to x actually accept settlement payments i think that's a little wrong from issuers in usdc starting on ethereum and paying out usd on ethereum so what they're doing here guys is they're having to build on and off ramps ethereum is still the second or was the largest ecosystem of, of DeFi products right now will it be there in the future i don't know but it's smart to build fiat on and off ramps because it, you need to be able to easily deposit money in and out of, of crypto right for people that may not be technically sound like maybe you and i am who maybe are just brand new to crypto and maybe that's you listening they're trying to make it easier for people to get into crypto and to get out of it okay i will try to not screw up this one okay crypto exchange binance introduces tool calculating taxes on transactions all right binance cryptocurrency exchange binance has introduced a tool to help users calculate tax obligations on their crypto transactions as governments increasingly look to ensure they don't miss out on the revenue from the industry the free tool can support reporting up to a hundred thousand transactions and it's available initially to users in canada and france the exchange has plans to extend to other regions i think this is a great tool people should be paying their taxes if you're not you might want to talk to a lawyer about that or a tax consultant because that could be very bad for your future believe me they know how to get in here and start tracking your metamask back to you and you're gonna say oh sensei i use a metamask and I, I never do this but if you use a metamask and you send money to a centralized exchange that you are kyc'd on they will track it back to you that's how that works everything is on the blockchain government are not stupid i know sometimes we think they act stupid and some things they do on either side of the aisle but there's not much we can do here guys we need to be transparent in what we are buying and selling because if not you know you're going to get a knock on your door and it's not going to be a good knock uk financial regulator warns crypto firms of jail time for unauthorized ads holy smokes that's not good uk companies were urged on monday to prepare for new restrictions on financial promotions with a financial conduct authority warning that breaches can lead to a prison term of two years damn two years damn that's a lot Excuse my pause, but that's a long time for a breach. While the new crypto regime is not yet finalized, thank God, but start getting your ads out there before this happens. The financial regulators say the rules would mirror those for other high-risk investments with promotions having to be clear and fair. The customers offered a 24-hour cooling off period to reconsider hasty purchases. Okay, I can't say I like where this is going but I understand where this is going. 2022 was a tough year and we had a lot of bad actors using money to promote scams. And I don't want to talk about who they are because you already know who they are and I don't want to waste more time on it, but I understand this after, after all, billions and billions of people's money lost. There needs to be tighter rules and people need to play by those rules. Actually, I support it. I just thought that two years is a little long, 
But hey, if that will stop bad people from putting out investments on billboards and ads that people can see that, that participate and lose money, I'm for it, I guess. Italy is setting up a crypto environment that meets EU's new laws. All right. We're seeing it all over the world, guys. It is happening. Italian regulators have begun setting up a supervisory environment anticipating European Union laws that for regulating crypto. Central bank governor Ag Ignazio Vic uh, Visco. Ignazio Visco. I like it. Visco spoke of the importance of regulating crypto and outlined global European and Italian initiatives underway during a speech at the Global Economic si Situation. Shouldn't it be like summit? Situation in Milan. Both the economies of Italy and the Euro area are decelerating because of the sector's ties to traditional finances are weak. Last year's crypto markets collapse did not have any systemic consequences on the real economy, he said, which is true, which is true. All right, let's keep going. BVA ports investment banking platform in, to Amazon Web Services. The Spanish bank is tapping Amazon high performance computing to speed up number of crunching for complex financial markets calculations. HPC enables millions of calculations to be performed at the same time, resulting in a more accurate and faster valuation processes for corporate and institutional clients. TSB pilots banking pods. I'm not gonna read this guys. Barclays did, is doing this as well. I think this is the start of something. I think banks are in trouble as we head into 2023 into 2024. I think banks have loaned out so much money that they don't know which way they're going. And these banking pods are a way to cut costs and to cut me and you going down to the bank and being frustrated with whoever's at the bank, right? If there's nobody there to yell at, uh, there's nobody there to yell at. So this is banks trying to find ways to cut costs and stay relevant. Crypto exchange Binance will suspend US dollar transfers. Let's find out about this. Binance will suspend US dollars withdrawals and deposits for international customers being effective on February 8th, the company said. Binance banking partner Signature, ooh, Signature, not good. In January, raised the transaction minimums and dollar cost averages or uh, how much money you could wire in and out. Guys, Signature is being looked at by the Department of Justice for possible fraud. Um, that's probably why all this is happening. I'm not gonna I'm get into all this, but just know that there's a lot of things happening behind the scenes that we don't control, that we need to understand. And this is part of that, okay? Banking, b digital bank revolt to offer crypto staking. Ooh, be careful, revolt. Digital banking service revolt is starting to offer crypto staking to customers in the UK and European economic area, the EEA, according to a report by the Financial Technology Publication. Alfi Revolt, which has around 25 million customers worldwide, the vast majority of whom are in the UK and the European economic area. Are you using Revolt in the UK, guys? Is it a good app to be on? You do find everything that you need to there. I'd love to get some feedback on Revolt down in the comments if you can. At first, London-based fintech will support staking on the tokens like Polkadot, Tezos, Cardano, and Ethereum. Yields on assets range from 2.99 to 11, 11.65. I, I like this, right? Uh, it's always nice to see some, some staking. I know we have some weird things going on with, with staking and lawsuits here in the US, but in other parts of the world, they're able to offer these services. And I like 2.99 to 11, right? So these are more in line with traditional, right? A regular savings account, you're gonna get like 1%, maybe not even. You got some bonds, like the two-year bond, four-year bond, there's around like 4%. So it's just really interesting to see what these crypto stakings will be like. And they're semi-close. 11.65 might be a little bit high, but we'll see what happens with that. And I didn't wanna get into this last article, guys. That's pretty much the video. If you learned something, share it with somebody you know. Help me grow my channel. I can't do without you. Maybe I had too much sugar this morning. That could be it. I'll see you next time. Bye.